Today I am reviewing Amazing Grace, which is a film that was made in 2006, starring Johan Griffith, Benedict Cumberbatch and Albert Finney. Amazing Grace is the true life story of William Wilberforce, who was a British parliamentarian and opponent of the British slave trade. The film opens in England in 1797. William Wilberforce comes along the road in his carriage and he sees two people whipping and kicking a carriage horse that has collapsed on the ground. Wilberforce gets out of his carriage and tells the men to stop beating the horse for it will surely recover if they let it rest a while. William Wilberforce is credited with playing a role in establishing the RSPCA. Wilberforce is haunted by images of slaves in chains. We never find out how that has come about. We see him in Parliament making speeches about the slave trade and the Foreign Secretary observes this young politician and remarks to another, where does this little terrier spring from? And the reply comes that this is a Yorkshire terrier. Later, Wilberforce is playing a game of poker with some colleagues and when one of the players runs out of cash, he offers up a slave in lieu of payment. Wilberforce is disgusted and doesn't accept the offer. Debate is made about the fortunes of slaves. For example, this slave had been on a plantation and now he was in London, which surely meant he had moved up in life. An argument that could have been made is that if Wilberforce had accepted the offer, he could have then freed the man. At the 16 minute mark, Wilberforce enters a room full of elites and breaks into song. The song, of course, is Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace was written by a man named John Newton, who was well known for being the captain of a slave ship, but he himself was once a slave. He had worked on a slave ship, and when this ship docked on an island, because the captain of the ship didn't like Newton, he sold him to a fellow slave trader who had a black wife who had always wanted a white slave. So Newton becomes a toy for this woman to play with. She teases and starves him, and then throws food on the ground, and when he picks it up to eat, she says that's disgusting, eating food off the ground. Eventually, the slave owner discovers that Newton is good at maths, and promotes him to being a bookkeeper. Newton is still a slave, he's just now working indoors rather than being mocked and bullied by his owner's wife. When he gets his freedom, he becomes a slave ship captain, before finding God and entering the monastery, where he writes Amazing Grace. There is a beautiful scene where William Wilberforce is in his garden meeting secretly with God and he laments the inconvenience of God finding him because he's a politician but now he wants to become a man of God. Wilberforce is besties with William Pitt and he tells him that he wants to quit politics and Pitt informs him that he intends to become Prime Minister and he wants Wilberforce to support him in government and he is in favour of abolishing the slave trade. William Pitt sets up a dinner party at Wilberforce's house without telling Wilberforce who the guests will be. One of them is Thomas Clarkson, who is an activist. Together they try to convince Wilberforce that he needs to be a man of God and a political activist. Wilberforce goes to visit John Newton, who was his mentor, and he tells him that his faith is returning and he doesn't know what he should do. Newton tells him to stay in politics and fight against the slave trade.